Bowman here from BW1.com. We're going to do an unboxing, hands-on, and first impressions look at the business-centric Motorola Admiral. The Motorola Admiral is really focused towards the business, unlike most phones that come out now, are really more geared towards the consumer. This is really geared towards the business person in mind. We're going to start off here with an unboxing. We'll uh, cut this little piece of tape here off like that. Put it up here and see what we have. To have the Admiral Hill here itself. Actually, pretty nice. It actually feels really nice in the hand there. I like that. Go ahead and check out what else we have inside of here. We have manuals, guides, instructions, and stuff you're most likely never going to read. We do have the wall charger here, USB wall charger, and the micro USB cable for charging and syncing. And that's pretty much it. Right, throw that all back in there. And we'll go ahead and check out the Admiral. All right. Here, peel off the plastic, and you guys like that. Plastic off. Okay, we got one more piece here. And then yeah, Motorola sometimes always puts this little blue extra piece here, which is always all over the camera, which is sometimes a pain to get off because the slip isn't always there. And sometimes people don't realize that, and the pictures all come out blue basically. So be sure when you always check that on Motorola devices. But um, this is the Admiral right here. Pretty nice device um, so far, I really like really like the design, are very business centric here. It does come with 3.1 inch touchscreen display. Right here at the top is the front facing camera. Right here at the bottom is your touch sensitive uh, buttons for menu, home, back and search. You have a full uh, four row QWERTY keyboard here, very uh, sort of Blackberry style. So this is really trying to sort of capture that Blackberry user, bring them over to the, to the Android side here. On the side you have the volume button. You also have this, this, this should be the direct connect button because this does now you Sprint CDMA compatible direct connect button at the Nextel which used uh, sort of IDEN. They're trying to get off of that and really use Sprint's uh, CDMA technology for push to talk which is right there. You have behind this cover the micro USB port. You have on this side, don't have anything but the dedicated camera button right here at the bottom. On the back you have a 5 megapixel camera. Top here looks like you have behind a cover, get that off, is your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Then here at the top, it looks like you have a your power and lock button right there. And then next to it looks like that's your speakerphone button right there as well too. So it has a sort of mix of a uh, sort of professional and rugged design with it. it. Does have a sort of nice back covering. It feels really rugged right there. You can show you how that sort of comes off like that. And you can see the battery there. So we can see get a quick glance at what the battery is. Take a look at that right now. You do get a 18, 20 milliamp hour battery, so a pretty big battery here. So you know they're really business focused here with that. Trying to make sure you can get the most out of your phone in the day, especially if you call, text, and email a whole lot. What you have right here is a, um, it's like this is your SIM card slot right here. Pretty nice. And we'll go ahead and cover this back up here. And we'll go ahead and power it on. Hopefully there's some juice. Yep, there we go. Also, I want to make one correction while this is powering up. That uh, slot back there, that is a SIM card slot. I'm sorry, that's the micro SD card slot. I just realized I said that. This is just a... Um, you a uh, domestic phone does can't travel overseas with it, but um, does include a micro SD card slot that you can use to expand the storage. Just come with four gigabytes internally, 2.2 gigabytes is available to the user. You do get a 1.2 gigahertz processor inside of it as well. You have Bluetooth, Wi Fi, GPS, all the other nice little connections, and 3G on this device doesn't, doesn't have the capabilities of 4G uh, WiMAX, which is a little unfortunate there. But go ahead and let this load up here. All right, pretty cool. Swipe that up in there. Kind of get an idea of what kind of what the screen, sort of the keyboard looks like there. Pretty cool. So it's similar to the Motorola user experience that we've seen before. You have uh, three. So you probably have about five desktops to choose from. All right, a little slow on rotating the desktops. Not too bad though. Probably still loading up there. All right, it's similar stuff we've seen so far. Oh, it's sped up there. Similar stuff that we've seen in pretty much a lot of Motorola de uh, devices as far as the UI is concerned here. All apps are right there. And you have a task manager, Sprint you know, apps that they've installed. You have the phone portal, 
mobile hotspot capability, DLNA. Looks like this is trying to be really a mix of business and fun at the same time. Really trying to lure those BlackBerry users over, especially with this uh, keyboard here. She even has a similar sort of BlackBerry key design that we've seen before on their devices. All right, so this is a quick unboxing, um, hands-on, and first impressions look at the Motorola Admiral so far. I actually really uh, kind of like the, the kind of like it as far as business is concerned. I like the design of it, I like the feel of it. it feels really solid. Uh, screen is a decent size, um, which it was which it was a little bit wider and more towards the wide screen point, but um, it, it's, it's definitely good for being able to touch and sort of keyboard at the same time. Stuff that we used to do on sort of the Palm Trio um, design phones back back Palm Trio phones back in the day. So um, make sure be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, also become a become a fan or circle us on Google Plus. The link to that available as well is in the description along with our full website also available in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.